Deprescribing is a newer word that's emerged in the palliative care literature. It essentially means that it's a systematic process in which you're identifying and discontinuing medications once that risk-benefit ratio doesn't seem to make a lot of sense. And it's in the context of the patient's goals of care, prognosis, values, et cetera. Deprescribing is essentially for every patient are those patients that have a life-limiting illness and have essentially one of the following. One, they have a documented goals of care uh, comfort-focused treatment plan. So they've already said, I don't want full treatment anymore. Um, they have essentially a, a new presentation of a new symptom, which could be due to an adverse side effect of another medication. They're on high-risk medications like warfarin, sliding scale insulin, things that can put patients at a lot of risk of falls or um, other type of adverse effects, uh, or where the risk-benefit ratio just doesn't seem to pan out anymore. Uh, but we could argue that deprescribing can occur way further up in the upstream in regards to us talking to patients about when these meds can come off rationally. Uh, so that's really like the who and the when of deprescribing. Why should you deprescribe? Because it's helpful for not only patients, but healthcare systems um, as well. So we're looking at reducing unnecessary burden, both directly and indirectly. Uh, reducing unnecessary cost, and that includes not only the cost of the physical medication, but the burden of administration time on not only families and caregivers, but also if they're in the facility, the burden that we place on our bedside nurses to administer these drugs. And it improves quality of care. You know, the 2015 study that looked at deprescribing statins found that when we took away one medication, just one statin, it significantly increased a patient's quality of life. And so the how is the trickiest part. So that's what we tried to focus on the most during the presentation. Uh, the model that's sometimes the most helpful is the rational model for uh, prescribing in patients with life-limiting illness. And what that model says is that there's four main factors that you should consider when you're thinking about medications for specific patients. The two, first two are completely patient specific, and that's their goals of care and their prognosis or remaining life expectancy. As I alluded to earlier, those are things that as palliative care providers, we already do a really, really great job of. The next and final two factors are what's the treatment target as well as the time until benefit. So treatment target infers what is the medication really being used for? You know, what's really the goal of this medication? And then the last factor is time until benefit because we know that medications do have, need a certain amount of time to get into the body to show its full effect. But after we've reached that max effect, it doesn't seem that we may get any more out of it. I would emphasize though that it's a process, very similar to advanced care planning. We have to really get to know a patient and we are not gonna discontinue or deprescribe all the medications at once. And my last piece of advice is this is really where your interdisciplinary team can really help you. So as I mentioned, two of those factors that you can consider uh, when you're deprescribing are often pieces of information that your clinical pharmacist can help you with. And so if you have access to someone in that regards, you know, that's a great resource to have. Those goals of care and reduce uh, life expectancy, doing a prognosis can really be driven by the physician or another advanced care provider. But I often always lean on my social workers as well because one of the barriers to deprescribing is that psychological connection with medications. And so being aware of those barriers are often important to have this process be successful. I would often also say that your therapist as well as your chaplains can also play into this process because they are always the ones that get that necessary information that is really helpful for deprescribing.